The huge explosion is an idea that has formed how we might interpret the universe, framing the underpinning of current cosmology. As per Einstein's hypothesis, also known as coarse reading cosmology, the huge explosion was the moment the universe started its expansion, denoting the creation of all matter energy and existence. This event happened roughly 13.8 billion years ago and led to the huge universe we observe today. However, late developments in cosmology suggest that the huge explosion probably wasn't the outright start. Rather, there could have been a stage before the enormous detonation that was similarly significant in shaping the universe as we know it. This pre-period is known as inestimable expansion. Expansion is one of the most fascinating parts of modern cosmology. It proposes that before the hot, dense period of the huge explosion, the universe went through an unimaginably rapid, dramatic growth. During this period, the universe was multiplying in size at a stunning rate. To illustrate exactly how extreme this expansion was, assuming the universe started smaller than a molecule, it would have expanded to be vastly larger than the whole observable universe within a tiny fraction of a second around one quadrillionth of a second. This expansion stage didn't last long, but played a significant role in shaping the universe. When the inflationary stage finished, the energy driving this expansion was released into space, warming it up and creating the particles of matter that make up all that we see in the universe. In many ways, expansion is the precursor to what we think of as the huge explosion. While the theory of expansion is widely accepted in cosmology today, many unanswered questions remain. For example, we don't yet know what started expansion, what caused it to stop, or how long it lasted. These are open questions in cosmology, and answering them is important for a deeper understanding of the origins of the universe. Before expansion, the universe was an incredibly dense, tiny point of matter often referred to as a singularity. From this singularity, expansion began and ultimately led to the formation of atoms, particles, stars, and galaxies. The idea of the huge explosion as the beginning of everything is appealing. However, modern cosmology suggests a more complex picture. Some theories propose that the universe went through a stage prior to the huge explosion. During this stage, expansion caused the universe to grow at an extraordinary rate, increasing in size by at least a factor of a trillion in a fraction of a second. This rapid expansion was fueled by a strange form of energy that permeated empty space. When expansion finished, the energy that had driven this growth was converted into particles, heating the universe and leading to the hot, dense state we call the huge explosion. This inflationary stage was cold and empty, but it set the stage for the creation of matter and the universe we see today. One of the more speculative ideas in modern cosmology is the concept of eternal inflation. This theory suggests that inflation didn't stop all at once. Instead, it stopped in patches, creating many different pockets, each of which could be a universe in its own right. Our universe would be just one of these patches. According to eternal inflation, there could be an infinite number of these universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. This is where the idea of the multiverse comes into play the concept that our universe may be one of many or even an infinite number of universes. If this idea turns out to be correct, it would explain why our universe is so finely tuned for life. In this multiverse scenario, every possible combination of physical laws could exist in different universes, and we happen to live in one where conditions are just right for stars to form and for carbon oxygen and other elements essential for life to exist. While theories like eternal inflation and the multiverse remain speculative, the idea of inflation itself is grounded in observational evidence. The strongest support for inflation comes from the cosmic microwave background radiation. CMB, the oldest light in the universe. The CMB was emitted around 380,000 years after the huge explosion when the universe cooled enough for atoms to form. At that point, the universe became transparent, and this light has been traveling through space ever since. By studying the CMB, cosmologists can essentially take a baby picture of the universe. The light provides clues about the universe's earliest days helping scientists understand what happened shortly after the huge explosion and offering support for the inflationary model. 
One of the most significant discoveries came from the European Space Agency's Planck satellite, which took detailed images of the CMB. These images reveal subtle variations in the temperature of the early universe, and these variations match the predictions made by inflationary theory. This experimental evidence strengthens the idea that inflation is not just a theoretical hypothesis, but a crucial part of how we understand the universe's origins. Understanding the huge explosion and what preceded it requires unifying two of the most important theories in modern physics. Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum theory. General relativity describes the large-scale structure of the universe, including the behavior of galaxies, stars, and planets, while quantum theory describes the behavior of particles on the smallest scales. To answer the fundamental questions in cosmology, such as what the universe is made of and where it came from, scientists will need to develop a theory that unites these two frameworks. This would allow us to understand not only the huge explosion, but also the conditions that led to it. One of the most astonishing aspects of the universe is its size. The most distant objects we can observe are about 47 billion light years away, meaning the observable universe is about 94 billion light years across. This may seem strange given that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. How can the observable universe be larger than the time it would take light to travel across it in the age of the universe? The answer lies in the fact that the universe has been expanding over time. As the universe expands, the distance between objects increases, making distant objects farther away than the time it would take light to reach us. Most scientists believe that the universe extends far beyond the observable universe. In fact, it's possible that the entire universe is infinite in size. The observable universe is essentially the part we can see limited by the amount of time light has had to travel since the huge explosion. There may be vast regions of the universe that we will never be able to see. While it's possible the universe is infinite, the question remains, is there anything beyond the universe? Most scientists have doubts about this idea. If the universe is infinite, there is no outside to it. The universe would essentially continue forever. Even if the universe is finite, it might not make sense to discuss anything beyond it. Beyond would imply something outside of space, which itself is a property of the universe. So, the idea of beyond the universe might not have any physical meaning. Just as the beginning of the universe is a subject of great study, so too is its eventual end. The best current estimate is that the universe will keep expanding forever. This is due to a mysterious phenomenon known as dark energy, which is causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. Before the discovery of dark energy, scientists believed that the universe's expansion would eventually slow down due to the gravitational pull of matter. There was even a possibility that the universe could stop expanding and start contracting, leading to a big crunch. However, dark energy seems to be pushing the universe apart faster and faster. If this acceleration continues, the universe will keep expanding indefinitely, eventually reaching a state where galaxies drift so far apart that they become isolated from each other. In this scenario, the universe would become cold, dark, and empty. Stars would burn out, galaxies would drift apart, and matter would eventually decay. This is sometimes called the big freeze or the heat death of the universe. The story of the universe from the huge explosion to its possible end is one of the most significant and complex tales in science. While we've learned a great deal about the origins of the universe through the theory of inflation and the study of the cosmic microwave background, many questions remain unanswered. What caused inflation to begin and end? What lies beyond the observable universe? Is there a multiverse, and if so, how many other universes exist? As scientists continue to study the universe using advanced technology and theories that unify quantum mechanics with general relativity, we will undoubtedly gain deeper insights into these mysteries. The journey to understand the universe is ongoing, and each revelation brings us one step closer to answering the ultimate questions about our reality. The study of the universe's origins and structure is not just a scientific endeavor, it also raises philosophical questions about existence, reality, and our place in the cosmos. 
One important area of interest in cosmology is the nature of dark matter, which is believed to make up roughly 27% of the universe's mass energy content. Unlike ordinary matter, dark matter doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects on visible matter. Understanding dark matter is essential for explaining the formation and behavior of galaxies. Ongoing studies and observations have provided insights into dark matter's properties, but its exact nature remains elusive. Several candidates have been proposed, including weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, axions, and other exotic particles. However, so far, no direct evidence of dark matter particles has been found. The search continues through a combination of earthbound experiments, astrophysical observations, and simulations that model how dark matter influences the large-scale structure of the universe. Another key area of research is dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Dark energy comprises about 68% of the universe's total mass energy content. Its discovery was unexpected and has led to many theories, including the cosmological constant, a term introduced by Einstein, and dynamic fields like quintessence. Understanding dark energy is crucial as it will determine the ultimate fate of the universe. Scientists are studying its effects on cosmic structures and trying to determine whether it remains constant over time or evolves. In addition to dark matter and dark energy, the study of large-scale structure formation offers significant insights into the universe's history. Observations of the cosmic web, a vast network of galaxies, clusters, and filaments have revealed how matter clumped together under the influence of gravity, leading to the complex structures we see today. Simulations run on supercomputers help researchers understand how these structures formed over billions of years and continue to evolve. Astrobiology also intersects with cosmology as scientists seek to understand the conditions necessary for life beyond Earth. The search for exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system has intensified with thousands discovered in recent years. Some of these exoplanets lie within their stars' habitable zones where conditions may be right for liquid water to exist. By studying these distant worlds, scientists hope to learn more about the potential for life elsewhere in the universe and the factors that make a planet hospitable to life. Finally, the role of fundamental physics in cosmology cannot be overstated. The quest for a unified theory that combines general relativity and quantum mechanics continues to challenge physicists. Theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity aim to bridge these two domains, offering explanations for phenomena like black holes and the early universe. As technology advances, so does our ability to observe and interpret cosmic phenomena. Space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are revolutionizing our understanding of the universe by providing unprecedented detail of distant galaxies and cosmic events. With each new observation, we move closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe's formation, evolution, and ultimate fate. The investigation of the universe is a rich tapestry of scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection. From the fundamental forces that shape large structures to the search for extraterrestrial life, our exploration is a testament to humanity's enduring curiosity about the cosmos. As we strive to answer these profound questions, we gain a deeper appreciation for the vastness and complexity of the universe and our unique place within it.